All right, Austin, obviously uh, not the result you wanted in Seattle, but here we are on Monday, so it's been a couple of days. What are some of your top takeaways and things that you guys and you learned against Washington? I, I think the biggest thing is we didn't play our best game on Saturday. Uh, we had mistakes, and it, we were trying to, I feel like, sometimes go outside of our assignments and trust. We just needed to trust the scheme of the coaches and trust ourselves, trust our teammates. And a lot of it stems from just being consistent and having trust. And so they, we saw that Washington was able to make big-time plays when, those, when that, that wasn't all together. The scheme wasn't all together. We weren't all playing uh, consistent. So I would think, and correct me if I'm wrong, does it help to have a shorter week because you really don't have time to worry about last week? It's all about kind of cramming for playing Friday night. Yeah, I mean, uh, sometimes you do think that, shorter time is is less helpful but i think i think we're ready for it we're excited i mean we talked about how football is just fun it's fun to get out there and it's fun to to be ready as well and just to be around the team and the culture and the coaches and i think a loss at washington helps us be ready for utah state you know they're they're a really good team and we're just really excited to be out here and have some fun and be back at it I was like shorter time for a test because I was like, well, I don't know it anyway. I'll just jump in. But the hope is that you're ready, right? Um, how much at Washington uh, was a product of, okay, Zane's out, Diane's out, uh, you know, oh, Butch is back in. Personnel-wise, it's been an interesting kind of ebb and flow from a depth perspective of there's a lot of new guys in the mix right now. There are a, little, uh, a lot of new guys in the mix. Uh, we saw that in other games as well, and guys have been able to step up. But once again, it's, it's just being consistent with our play because uh, I, I trust those guys that, that back them up. Uh, I trust, you know, obviously we would have been happy to have them, but the guys behind them are just as good. They're very uh, talented and they're very assignment sound. But as a team and as a defense especially, we just we weren't consistent enough to not prevent those big plays and those mistakes and they were able to capitalize and, you know they're a great team and we just can't do that against a good team nobody ever wants to hear about injuries because everybody goes through it and nobody wants to use it as, a, as an excuse but it is a reality that you guys have just dealt with some injuries over the past couple years but to your point you talked about guys being ready how much of a next man up mentality does this team in general have talking to them i mean the, we saw that in mcneese uh we saw Guys like Tanner Jacobson get in the first play and he, he, make, he makes a pick. We saw Sawyer Powell recover a fumble and Austin, uh, Austin Francis mm -hmm. and Nate Sampson both drilled the guy, uh, caused a fumble. Rhett Sandlin had an interception. Those guys are ready. Those guys uh, love to be out there on the field. And so they're, they're going to prepare the same way as we would as well. And so I, f I feel like. You know, they're very talented, they're very assignment sound, and so it's just, it's just stepping up. But as a defense together, we all have to be on the same page. You can't just be one guy making a difference, but we all have to work together and trust each other. We're talking with junior safety Austin Lee. How are you feeling? Because I know you wore the green jersey last week, meaning don't hit me. Yeah. So how are you doing? Uh, I, I'm doing good. You know, just a little dinged up here and there. There's nothing that football doesn't cause, but uh, I'm, I'm feeling really good. So game was a good time to get back in and hit somebody rather than practice being in that green jersey. So For a defensive guy, that's like a jersey of shame somewhat, right? You're like, oh, man, the quarterbacks wear the green jersey, right? It is. I tried to get away <laughs> from it the first day, but my coach is like, you need the green jersey. Uh, you need to put it on. But, I mean... I told I told guys that were that were still coming to block me. Hey, I need the work. Come come block me. Come hit me because you can't just turn it on game time. You kind of have to be prepared, and especially with a team like Washington. So, you have an, an interesting story coming to BYU. You grew up in Salt Lake County. You went to high school in Salt Lake County. Started out at the University of Utah. How in the world did you find yourself down in Provo? <laughs> uh, it, it was a long process for sure. Uh, just come back from my my mission. Just a different mentality, uh, you know, not that things probably wouldn't have worked out, but I, the football, I don't know, I, I wasn't like the biggest thing on my mind, obviously, as well, and it's just a different environment than what I was used to, and, uh, you know, I was grateful for coaches like Coach Satake and uh, Coach Tuiaki. I've, I've known them both uh, throughout the whole recruiting process when I was in high school, and so when I heard he was coming to BYU, I was excited uh, because 
that that meant a lot to me because he he was a big part of why I chose Utah in the first place. Same with Coach Hill, you know, at Weber State, just things changed, and same with my mentality. So, and you found yourself at Salt Lake Community College suddenly. Uh, so, I guess what happened when you went there, and then how'd you end up at BYU? So the the rule with NCAA being compliant, I obviously had to earn an associate's degree. Uh, so, because I didn't get permission to transfer, didn't get permission to contact schools, and so that was the easiest way for me to go to school, earn my associates really fast. Because I had, I had a lot of classes from before my mission and from being at Utah. So, I was only there for one semester, and I was able to contact BYU after going through that compliance stuff. And uh, this was this was where I wanted to be. This is this is home for me as well. So. It, it was a long process being out of the game for a year and had a red shirt to earn my associate's degree, but it worked out. I was able to work out, stay in shape. So, so I, I wanted to ask you because I, I heard you talk about this a couple weeks ago. You, your family, the background of the family, came. You guys were a Utah family. Uh -huh. Now you're married. You have a, you have two children. Your wife, is a BYU fan, comes from a BYU family. Here's the really important question, Austin. How are the children being raised, BYU or Utah? They're being raised right. You, you know what's right. That's right. That's what he it's transferred. Right. <laughs> he came down here, man. Yeah. 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 Saying, you know, he's not going back. Well, it, it's cool to see, too, is just uh, how big of a support family I have, especially my side of the family. You know, my dad played baseball. My grandpa played football. Uh, big Utah ties, right? But those, Utah, you're yeah, they, I mean, yeah, they, they both they played, played at Utah. Utah. So, like, obviously – they were excited for me when I committed, but they're so excited that I'm here and the opportunities I have are, you know, they're, they're just happy for me as a person. So just true love, I guess, right? <laughs> so yeah, does any, absolutely. Does, does anybody from the family, they try and sneak in like a, like a Ute uh, gift or anything like that for the kids? No, they know better. <laughs> they know better. You just throw it away. They're like, no. They no. know better. <laughs> yeah. But you, you and Zach Wilson can commiserate on the our dads played at Utah. Right. We're at yeah. BYU. Thing, exactly. Right? Yeah. 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 Awesome. Uh, we're talking, talking to Austin Lee, junior safety uh, at BYU. Let's talk about Utah State. You mentioned him a little bit. Fifth in the country in, uh, in points per game bunch of uh, yards through the air and on the ground. What's your initial assessment of a really good Utah State team coming in Friday? They're explosive. Uh, you've seen that. Uh, just the stats you've been sharing. They're, they're fifth in the country in scoring, and they put up a lot of points, and so you got to respect that. And we talked about how we weren't consistent at Washington. We've got to be very consistent with uh, Utah State as well and expound upon their mistakes. Uh, it's just, it's a really good football team. They're really well coached. They have really good explosive players. And it's just all about being able to prevent that and be consistent in our play and trusting each other and trust the scheme and things will fall into place. This is one, speaking of in-state games, this is what you guys have in terms of team goals is to win the in-state games. How big of an opportunity and how big of a deal is this for you guys to take on a team like Utah State in the state of Utah? It's huge. Uh, we talk about yeah winning the winning the rivalries. We talk about protecting Lavelle's house. This is our place. They're coming into it. They had our number last year, and in the recent years as well. And so it's just it's huge. Uh, they're going to come out ready. They're going to come out fired up. And so are we though. So we don't, we're not going to back down. But we're going to expect the greatest Utah State team to come out this season. So and they have the old wagon wheel. You got to get it back, right? Got to get it back. Let's get the old wagon wheel back. back. Things not often said. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, Austin, we appreciate the time, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. And let's give you the BYU Sports Nation card. Yes. It's like good luck. The, like you're going to play even better than you would have now. All right. All yeah. right. I appreciate yeah. it. Okay. I'll, I'll have fun keep Friday. Keep that in my mind. Thank you.